Hey, it's uh, Raven Tactical here. Um, I'm going to talk about a thing that I think most people could probably benefit from. So, if you're an avid gun owner or you're into guns, there's things you can do. There's different shooting sports you can attend that can help you in the long run if you're looking for a shooting sport um, or a way to train cheaply. Not everybody can afford, you know, the James Yeager tactical experience and spend $4,000 on hotel fare, airfare, rifles, and, you know, everything else to go down there. Not everyone can afford it. What you can afford, for the most part, is usually there's amateur level three gun competitions. And usually, as long as you bring what the requirements are or they try to help you out, you can get some advice and people will usually help you know the new people out you know they can stick you with someone who can help explain it and walk you through it what does three gun teach you three gun for the people who don't understand three gun three gun is a competition shooting event where you have a shotgun a rifle and a pistol and you don't shoot them all at once technically generally you have your pistol on you and maybe a rifle to start out with and you might stage a shotgun. And what it is, is you run a course and you're shooting around barricades or shooting around, you know, moving targets. There might be, you know, targets that spin, targets that, you know, throw a target up in the air. And it's basically to get you to react and shoot. And it's a great way to do it. Um, sometimes there's long distance shooting. I wouldn't say long distance, but usually there's Sometimes there's 100, 200 yard shots and you're trying to hit bowling pins or you're trying to hit clay targets, you know. So it's reactive, it's fun, you're trying to shoot hostage and hostage or terrorist hostage target style shooting too. So you have that. And what it does is, you know, it's teaching you to kind of get a stressed situation. It's stressing your equipment. It's getting a chance for you to get out and shoot. And usually these events cost maybe 20 bucks for to get, come in and run it. I know at the one that we did it at, it was about 20 bucks. Bring your own ammunition at least. And I would say ammo-wise, you're maybe going through a few hundred on a rifle, maybe 50 or less on a shotgun, and maybe 100 in your handgun. Not a normal, you know, usually they do three different lanes. And then, you know, the focus on each lane is usually, you know, primary could be on different things. Like, they might have a more of a distance range. They might have close-up range. And you kind of cycle through in groups. It's an individual course, you know, an individual kind of competition. Um, for the people that like to compete, it's pretty interesting. For me, though, I take these kind of competitions, and I'll explain another competition that I just did. Um, as an opportunity to, one... And like I said before, stress your equipment, including yourself. If you think that going to a bench, shooting a couple rounds, getting a nice group, stressing your rifle. No, most of your rifles, most of your ARs and stuff are combat style rifles. They're designed to get hot, dirty, banged up, thrown around because you fall, you trip, and you need to know if that rifle is going to maintain a zero, maintain functioning, it's going to keep running, and it's kind of that whole running and gunning concept. And it's just not a lot of ranges let you do it. So where three gun comes in and for 20 bucks, cool. Like a lot of people will help you out. They'll, you know, they'll walk you through it and say, hey, here's what we need you to do. For me, running and gunning with it, I didn't care. If I came in the top or the lat, you know, the, what is that, the bottom 10. I didn't care if I came in out of 40 people, I was in the bottom 10. I didn't care. I wasn't out there with the latest and greatest in technology. I wasn't out there with the latest and greatest everything. I went out there with what I viewed as if something were to happen, something were to go, grab what you have and go. So it's a minute man philosophy, right? And so that's how I treated it. Three gun to me was a minute man philosophy. And yeah, you know what? I wasn't the best at the competition. But I got some time in and I got some shooting in. And I definitely as hell had a good time doing it. And I met good people, and most of them are usually patriotic people. So you're basically networking and having a good time. And then there's skills you're developing that you can bring back to your group. Or your whole group can go, and then you can have a whole good time. So the competition that I did recently is a medium, oh, it's at medium range. 
um, I, I don't even know what they even call it, but it's kind of what maybe a military style distance shooting, I guess, would be. And maybe someone can fill me in on the name for it. We were invited, and what they're doing is basically practice. They're, they opened up the range for practice. And the range basically sets at 200, 300, and 600 yards out. Well, I just recently wanted I wanted to put together something for kind of a precision rifle, so I've, I'm working on that. So I brought mine out, and I went with my neighbor. And he brought his he brought his uh, carving style AR with iron sights, and we went and shot. You know, and the coolest thing about this range is this range has um, basically a readout that you can connect to with your a phone. And you can go to their, you know, once you connect to their Wi-Fi and go to their website, you can read out the range, and it gives you instant feedback on your target you're shooting at, which is really cool. So, what am I trying to get at? Again, it's another opportunity to do a different style of shooting. You know, it's not in, it's not the running and gunning. It's the precision shooting. It's being very accurate. It's trying to figure out how your rifle does at various distances and creating a bunch of data that you can use later on, you know? I mean, aim small, miss small, right? So you want to aim for a button, you know? So when you're out there, you're shooting and you're getting accurate. It's also getting a chance to say, hey, let me try different ammunition in this rifle or different reloads and see how it does. Cool. You're basically trying to perfect your rifle. Now, these guys take it super serious. And I, it's a hobby, so I don't, I don't discredit them at all. I think, you know, your hobby's your hobby. Mine's a little different. And again, I treat it as a minute man philosophy. So when we went, it was, oh man, it's at this time. We got a half hour to get ready to go. So half hour to get ready, I was in the garden. I put my tools away quick, grab a rifle, threw it in the case, grab some ammunition, grab some hearing protection, eye protection, threw it in the truck and up and went, right? And that's how I look at it though. How else would you consider the Minute Man philosophy if it's not that? You know, you don't have a whole day to get after your gear. It's gonna be, we gotta go. So, you know, within a half hour, we were, I was loaded up, had everything put away, and we rolled out. Neighbor shot really well, you know. Basically a Palmetto M16, or excuse me, Palmetto carving upper, um, probably a Palmetto lower or Anderson lower, and just standard carry handle, the natural carry handle irons like the M4 style, and he shot excellent too, you know. And it's a great opportunity to learn how to use your elevation on the carry handle to learn how to adjust for that, you know. So it was a good experience. I know this video is probably kind of long and maybe a little bit silly or a little weird, but look into the things that you can do, you know. You don't have to be the best is what I'm getting at. What you're doing is you're trying to get good. And like you want to know data. And just saying you think you're good or saying that, man, this rifle will prove an inch at 100, you know, 100 yards, go and prove it, you know. Go and prove that you can hit man-sized targets at this. Because I can guarantee you, if you're hitting man-sized targets at 600, 10 out of 10 rounds, that's good. I think that's a great thing. Why? Because in our hobby, self-reliance and defense, those are things that are going to keep your family alive or fed. So, with that, it's uh, Raven Tactical. I'm signing out. I really hope you guys have a great week. Um, further things will be coming out. I should have some more homesteading videos coming out and some maybe some different things too as well.